right, here we go. So I always do this poem when I don't know what poem to do. So here we go. So there's this thing, it's called volcano surfing. Uh, it, it's a sport in which an individual rides down an active volcano uh, at speeds up to 50 miles per hour using nothing but like a, a wooden board. Uh, when I first heard about, the, about this activity, you know, I thought to myself, it must be nice to feel so safe you have to invent new ways to put yourself in danger. <laughs> like, when the body thinks that it may be swallowing its last breath, the adrenal glands release hormones into the blood, the skin becomes a cocktail of sweat and fear, the heart gets claustrophobic, it pounds against the chest like it needs to see what's on the other side, the lungs become newlyweds holding hands in a crashing airplane, this is called an adrenaline rush. I was about 18 when I started driving. I was about 18 the first time I was pulled over. The officer spilled his lights all over my rearview mirror. He splashed out of his car with his hand already on his weapon. He looked at me the way a tsunami looks at a beach house and I could tell that he's the kind of man who brings a gun to a food fight. He called me son and I thought to myself, that's an interesting way of pronouncing boy. He asked for my license, registration, and wants to know what I'm doing in this neighborhood. If the car is stolen, if I have any drugs. And most days y'all, I know how to grab my voice by the handle. I know how to swing it like a hammer, but instead I picked it up like a shard of glass, scared of what might happen if I didn't hold on to it carefully because I know that this much melanin that uniform is a plot line to a film that can easily end with the chalk outline baptism me trying to make a body bag look stylish for the camera and becoming the newest coat in a closet full of r.i.p hashtags once a friend of a friend asked me why there weren't more black people in the x games and i said you don't get it being black is one of the most extreme sports in america <laughs> invent new ways of risking our lives because the older ones have been working for decades. Jim Crow may have left the nest, but our streets are still covered in its feathers. Being black in America is knowing there's a thin line between a traffic stop and the cemetery. It's the way my body tenses whenever I hear a police siren in a song. It's the quiver in my stomach whenever there's a cop car behind me. It's the sigh of relief when I turn right and he does it. Being black in America is knowing, is knowing that you aren't safe in a hoodie, a t-shirt, a tuxedo. Being black in America is knowing that you aren't safe in a church, at a pool, in a classroom. Hell, I don't need to go volcano surfing. I have an adrenaline rush every time an officer drives past without pulling me over. Yeah. And, and I realized that uh, I'm gonna make it home safe. This time. Thank you.